guys welcome back so today i'm gonna be registering myself and i'm gonna be taking you through the process so please do watch to the end so you can be able to see how it's done to the end in case you want to ask any questions because if you skip any part then it will be difficult to understand everything and this will be very helpful for returning students and even first-time students who already have um, student numbers so watch every step that i make carefully okay so on this part if you have registered before at unisa if you're a returning student then you're gonna click where it says yes you click on the blue text where it says web registration walkthrough and then if you have not registered before if you're a first time student then you're gonna check where they say where it says no you also click on the web on the blue link where it says web registration walkthrough so because i was registered before i'm gonna click on the first one and on this part you're gonna enter your student number and your surname your full first names and your date of birth and then you're gonna click next now once you have clicked next it's gonna bring you to this page where you have all your proposed qualification the one that you um are accepted for or they're granted um, admission for then you're gonna select the one that you want to register for and then you click next so on this part you're gonna check all your personal details for registration just make sure that everything is correct or if there is uh, empty spaces then enter everything that they ask you for and then at the end once you've entered the right details then you click next and it will take you here then um they're gonna ask you if you are in your final year of studies and will you be able to complete your qualification if the credits are sufficient after passing all the study units if you are finally a student then you click yes if no and then um if you need an access card then click yes if not then click no it's the card that's gonna um allow you access to the campuses and then um, on display method for study units click on the list study units valid for your qualification because it's going to help you to easily find your modules and then if you want them to appear by the code click on code if by the description um the module name click on description and then click next and now you are on this page if you want to see all the module codes click on list all and then you click next so choose um, there and then click next so this part um you're gonna choose your modules and then once you've chosen the modules that you want and then at the very bottom you click back to study unit selection once you have chosen your modules so now on this part you're gonna choose if all your modules appear as semester modules you're gonna choose um modules for first semester and then the modules that you want for second semester because i only have three sem three semester modules and then the rest are year modules i'm just gonna take the three as first semester modules which i'm gonna write um may june and then the year modules we're gonna write um october november yeah once you are done um separating them then you click next and then this is the final point where you're gonna um review all the um information if everything is correct and then on the payment type 
you are going to click if you're going to use um if you're going to pay using your your bank card then you click credit card if you are an s first beneficiary click other and then you go down and then click under important um part you click that you have read through the declaration below if once you are done reading it then you click on the button and then you click submit and then it will submit your application and now you are done if it says your temporary registration was successful then you are now gonna make payment and i have also you need to also receive an sms that you have successfully registered and then um i will also put a link in the description box for the payment but if you want to pay later you can click on quit and pay later and then if you want to pay online then you can check out the link that i've shared with you or you can click under payment there is a yellow text there it says click here um with general information regarding payment then you can click there just to see um what payment options do they have and how you should pay so you can just check it out and all that so if you have successfully um temporarily registered you need to get an sms like this and once you are done registering and you have received the temporary registration sms and now you want to make an online payment in the description box check the link click on the link and now it will require you to enter a student number enter a student number then click continue and you now have to confirm your qualification code then click or continue um you can read the red um note there then scroll down where it says email address enter your email address and then um you will see the minimum amount that is um needed for registration which is the amount that you have to pay now for your registration to change to registration and not temporarily registered and then underneath you will see your full amount for the whole um registration so um on payment details just enter one you need to pay for now if you want to pay registration on study fee then you can enter the amount for registration um it even shows that the amount cannot be less than the amount for the registration which in my case it's 5850 and then um if there is any other amount that you need to pay just enter it where applicable and then add the total amount add the totals and then enter the total there and then you'll click the pay now button just click it once don't click it twice it will take you to a page where you need to enter your card details in order for you to pay once you've entered all your card details just click um pay now and then follow the instructions then it will successfully make a payment then you can keep checking on your my unisa to see um it appear on your financial statement or financial details and then you are done we is to track your registration status um in the description box click on the link and enter your details then click continue and if your registration is successfully temporarily registered and just awaiting payment, then you're going to see it um, appear like this. Then you know that you have successfully registered.